Hi, boys and girls. Welcome back to lesson two. Today is Wednesday, April the 15th. What we're going to do in this lesson is we're going to look at our ABCs. We're going to remember and review quickly the sounds each of the letters make. After we do that, we're going to play a game where we look at objects and we try to figure out what sound or letter that object starts with. So first, let's review. Remember, A says A uh, as an apple. B says B as in boot. C says K as in what? Car, that's right. D says D as in duck, you're right. E says E eh as in right. F says F as in fish. G says G as in guitar. H says P as in house. Okay, say them with me. I says I as an igloo. J says J as in, that's right, jacket. What does K say? K as in kite. What does L say? Oh, lizard. M says M as in mouse. N says M as in net. O says A ah as in octopus, that's right. P says P as in, what is that? A penguin, that's right, P. Q says qu as in queen. Let's look here. R says, let me get it closer to you. Sorry, guys. R says r as in rainbow. S says as in snowman. T says t as in turtle. U says a uh, as a umbrella. All right, almost there. What does V say? V says v as in van. W says w as in whale, X says X, X as in x-ray, Y says Y as in, can y'all tell what that is? Yarn, that's right, and Z says Z as in zebra. Now, I, I know that was quick, but we just wanted to do a quick review. Now we're gonna look at our letters, so I'm gonna share them with you. Okay, you can see over here that I have um, some blocks that have the ABCs on them. So those are all of our ABCs. And so what we're going to do is we're going to look at those to just give us a choice to help us remember our choices. And then we're going to look at some pictures that I'm going to show you. And we're going to figure out what sound each of those makes. Now, one thing you can do if you don't have, um, you won't have this at home, but I, I did send home a paper that looks like this that has all the ABCs on them. And so what you could do if you want to while we play this game is when we find one, you could color in that box or trace over that letter, the one that we find so we can figure out which ones we've done so far. So here comes the first one. Okay, so let's look right here. This is what? That's right, it's a hammer. A hammer. What letter does hammer start with? Listen to the sound. <laughs> hammer. That's right. It should be the letter H. That's right. So we're going to cover an H. And if you have this paper, like this at home, you can find the H and just trace over the H with a crayon. Okay? And if you don't, that's okay. You can just do this with this without writing it for now. Okay, what is this a picture of? You're right, it's a zebra. What sound does z zebra start with? You're right, it's the letter Z. So let Miss Hudson get a Z. We're going to cover that with Z. And then on your paper, find the Z and just trace over the Z. All right, next. This is a that's right, it's a ring. What letter do you think ring starts with? What sound do you hear? R ring. That's right, it's an R. So find your R on this paper. You can find the R, trace the R, and then we're going to look for an R over here. And here's our R, so we're going to cover our ring with the letter R. Now, what is this? Yes, it's an apple. A -a apple starts with which letter? Yeah, everybody knew that one. A. So put an, I'm going to put an A here so we can remember what we have so far. 
And then I'm going to find my A here, and I'm going to trace over that with a crayon or a marker. Okay, here's the next one. What is this a picture of? A queen. That's right, queen. What letter should queen start with? Q. That's right. Q starts the sound that qu queen makes. So you can find it on here and trace over with your marker or crayon or even your just your pencil or your finger pencil and write your Q. And then we're going to come look at our ABCs and see what's left. Let's see where does Q come. Here's Q. I think it got knocked down a little, didn't it? Q. So, so far we have H, Z, Q, A, R, and what's this one? Elephant. Elephant starts with what letter, guys? E e elephant. That's right. So, I'm going to find my E here. A, B, C, D, E. I'm going to put my E there, and then I'm going to look for you guys. Find your paper. All right. Get you a different crayon or color and mark draw E. Remember, big line down. Line across the top, line across the middle, line across the bottom. All right, so we've done one whole section. So we found one, two, three, four, five, six. So if you're doing this on this paper, you should have six letters covered. All right, so now we're going to go to the next part. All right, here comes another one. What is this a picture of? That's right, it's a kite. What sound does kite start with? K, k, kite. Kite actually starts with the letter K. So if you have your paper like this, find the K and trace the K. Another thing you can do if you don't have this paper is just write the letters as we say them, and that will be a good practice for you. So I'm going to look under here and find my K. K for kite. What about this one? What's that a picture of? It's a drum. Drum. Drum says what sound? D, D, D. What letter is that? You're right, that's a D. So find D over here. You're gonna trace the D on your paper. And Miss Hudson's gonna try to find our D letter. I'm gonna scoot them out for us to see better. D, so now we have two covered. Whoops. Now. Now we're going to look for our next one. Let's see them to the side. All right, let's look for our next letter. This is a tiger. What sound does tiger start with? T -t tiger. You're right, that's a T. So I'm going to put a T there and I'm going to come to my paper. Oh, there's the T. Trace my T. Good job. Do you know what this is supposed to be a picture of? That's supposed to be a picture of soap. Soap. What sound does soap start with? S soap. That's right, S. I'm gonna cover my S. Did you find your S on your paper? Here it is. All right, so trace your S. Now, if Miss Hudson goes too fast, you can always hit pause. All right, this, what is this a picture of? That's a lion. Lion starts with what sound? L. L lion. So I'm going to put an L there. And I'm going to look for lion. L. L right there. Trace my L. All right, we have one more on this one. This is an igloo. Igloo starts with what letter? I, I, I. An I. You're right. So I'm going to put my eye there, and then you're going to find your eye on your paper. It's way over here under the C. Trace your eye. Good job. Now there's some more of these we could do, and then maybe we could cover them all. So there's more that we can do until we get all of the letters. What is this picture? It's an umbrella. Umbrella starts with a, a, U. So put your U here. And you find your U on your paper. There it is. Trace your U. 
Wait, what about this picture? What is that? It's an octopus. That's right. Oh, octopus starts with what sound? Uh, uh, octopus starts with O. Oh. So find your O oh on your paper. Trace your O. Oh. Okay, what is this? That's a g glove. Glove. Glove starts with what letter? G. 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 So we're going to find our G and trace our G. Right, what is this? That's right, it's the moon. What letter does moon start with? M moon starts with M. So now we're going to find our M and trace our M. M says moon. What is this a picture of? A bow. That's right. What letter does our sound does bow start with? B, B. Bow starts with a B. So we're going to put a B there. And here comes B for bow. B. Trace my B. Now, what letter, what is this thing? That's a whistle. W, w, whistle. What letter does whistle start with? What? That's right, it's a W. So cover W there. So we've gotten most of our letters. All right, trace your W. All right, remember, if you need to pause, just hit pause until you're ready for the next one. All right, we're gonna go down to this part of the paper. This is an, what is that? It's a jet, 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 jet. So jet starts with j, j. So find your j, trace your j. Good job. What is this? A cat, that's right. Cat starts with what sound? C, c, cat starts with C, that's right. So let's trace our C. All right, next. Oh, this is just like what was on our ABC chart. Net, net. What starts with net? N, that's right. So we're going to put an N there. And then find your N. Here it goes. N. Do you have most of your letters traced now? Hopefully. You should have most of them done. What is this letter or word? That's a p pig. What sound does pig start with? P p pig. That's right. P. We're going to put our P there. Right, find your P. Good job. All right, what's this? Oh, that's a flower. What sound does flower start with? Yeah, F sound, f -f flower. So now we're going to find the F and trace it. Now what's this last one? It's a van. A van starts with V, v van. So trace the letter V. Now, here's the fun thing, the interesting thing. We had two letters we didn't use. Did you see two letters on your chart you didn't color or trace? Yeah, these are the two letters we had left were X and Y. So since those weren't already colored, now you can trace them special. You could either do a double tracing or use a different utensil to trace them, but these are the two we didn't have. What you can do is if you haven't, um, you can always uh, use this paper again for other things. They give you good ideas to practice writing your letters. You can use a marker, a pencil, a pen, a crayon, or even paint with a Q-tip just for fun practicing our letters. Anyway, whenever you see something, try to think about what it starts with or what sound it starts with and try to think what letter that is. It'll be good practice for you. Okay, so I will let you go and I hope you all have a great rest of today. And for your homework, you'll look and see 
what I put on there for you to do. But right now, I'm going to let you go, and I hope you have a great rest of today. And remember, what do we always say? I am special, and God loves me. Bye. Love you. See you tomorrow.